वी हैव विद अस आई एम एफ रेजिडेंट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इन पाकिस्तान अमारिया थ्रेसा एंड आई वी वी विल नो विद हर दैट हाउ पाकिस्तान परफॉर्म पाकिस्तान परफॉर्मेंस इन इन द इन इट्स फर्स्ट रिव्यू बाय द आई एम एफ मैम थैंक यू स्पेंडिंग टाइम फॉर अस हाउ यू सी द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ पाकिस्तान Pakistan uh, the government of Pakistan has just uh, uh, um, completed uh, all of the actions needed for the uh, first review of the extended fa fa fund facility uh, supported by the IMF that implied uh, a good uh, performance uh, as regard the budget uh, uh, there was a surplus in the in the fiscal uh, front uh, a good transition to a new monetary policy uh, scheme with the market based exchange rate regime and a, a good progress in putting together a plan to reduce the circular debt in the power sector okay pak exchange rate now we now see a stability in the exchange rate but at the same time um, the policy rate is a bit a bit a concern for the uh, uh, pakistan's economy and the pakistan uh, manufacturing sector is not picking up because of the um, uh, high uh, policy rate so in this front how you think uh, when pakistan economy will pick up and when, uh, uh, when the policy rate will come down The policy rate is the main instrument for the State Bank of Pakistan to conduct monetary policy that is uh, oriented to keep inflation under control. Inflation expectation right now still remain uh, high, although they are uh, 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 under control and with a better perspective than than before. So the monetary policy of the State Bank of Pakistan and therefore the policy rate. is the right response to the current uh, situation the policy rate in real terms is, is, is positive and is very small and it uh, uh, um, um, should be uh, something that need to be only oriented to uh, inflation okay um, pakistan's economy uh, is showing a sign of recovery but at the same time um, what kind of challenges do you think that pakistan is still persists as far as um, if we see the uh, circular debt in the power sector and the how how you see the uh, the government's um, policies towards the privatization of the state owned enterprises Pakistan has made uh, very good progress and on the stabilization front and uh, um, uh, but more work needs to be needs to be done the debt level is still continue to be high uh, as you mentioned the circular debt is uh, is very high a 4% of gdp more actions are needed to reduce the circular debt the state bank of pakistan is making very important progress in increasing the level of international reserves but this level uh, has to increase until covering four months of imports so more work needs to be done so the challenges remained despite all of the progress and the, that has been done uh, uh, so, uh, so far and the management of the uh, soes also is an important uh, part of the program there are many actions and bc for next year that will help to uh, better management of the uh, of these companies and to reduce the, le the level of losses that are uh, presented okay last question as far as fatf is concerned i am in the in the imf report the imf showed a bit concerns over the fatf so do you think that pakistan's making uh, uh, taking the right measures to meet the uh, requirement of fatf and and, and and as far as money laundering is concerned and the anti terrorist financing is uh, terrorist financing as a pakistan is taking right measures to curb uh, money laundering and the terrorist financing i think that uh, the international experts and the fatac uh, the tax force i think they have uh, presented a very cl clear indication about what pakistan needs to do in order to get out of the gray lists and uh, a lot of progress has been done it was also acknowledged by the international expert through last year october but more progress needs to be done and will be done by by next by the next evaluation and in in february okay thank you thanks for your time for us